What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here and welcome back to the channel. Okay, let me slow down. I was getting super excited. Now we all know that Nintendo NX is not going to be as powerful as its contemporaries. The PlayStation 4 and Xbox One do have GPUs and graphical prowess that will supersede the power of the NX, or at least that's what we've heard so far. I'm super excited about the Nintendo NX. I think it's going to really carve out its own niche, and apparently, so do some insiders. And I'll drop a link in the description. Nintendo Switch specs won't match the PS4 and Xbox One, but console will be powerful, says Insider. Nintendo Switch device specs won't be as powerful as the PS4 and Xbox One, but the console will apparently have its own unique strengths. This much is suggested in tweets from Wall Street Journal Insider and trusted Nintendo Insider Takashi Mojizuki. And I'm sorry, I have to say, his name sounds like a really badass name. And when you hear a name like that and it's Japanese, you have to say it like he's just in a game and he's like a boss. No disrespect to Takashi, but whenever I hear that kind of name, I have to say it like a badass Japanese. In specific, he said his sources indicated, quote, Switch would be powerful, but not in the way PlayStation and Xbox are, end quote. He followed that statement with an assertion, Switch likely to use 14 by 16 nanometer FET processor GPU. Those spec statistics get a bit technical, but it's a basic point of the statement that matters. Just like all recent console generations before this one, it appears Nintendo will opt for less powerful hardware than its competitors in turn for a unique service. From what we saw in the Switch reveal trailer, that service is a hybrid console portability of the device. Large-scale games can be played on big screens and on the go in a single product. Is this novelty precisely what Machazuki's source was thinking about when he or she said that the unit would still be powerful? Is it powerful and that added convenience? It's possible. Another thought is that maybe the Switch's true talents lie in the efficiency of its hardware. The specs may not provide as much visual shine as the PS4 and Xbox One, but maybe its innards work together in perfect harmony to offer great battery life considering what's on show. After all, Nintendo continued to push issues of power consumption during the entire Wii era. Both the Wii and Wii U use far less power than their contemporaries, and despite its better specs, the Wii U drained even less annual wattage than the Wii. As a portable console that plays top-tier games on a battery, maybe the Switch will benefit from, the, from some of that prior research. Rumors suggest a far less palatable battery life of 3 hours for the Switch, but maybe Nintendo will prove the speculation wrong with some very smart design choices, especially for portables. Endurance is a huge part of the system's received power and usefulness. Well, that being said, having weaker specs in the PS4 and Xbox One could pose a challenge when trying to convince third-party developers to support the Switch. Making the necessary downgrades takes extra coding, coding takes time, and time costs money. It's the same golf and horsepower that forced the Wii U into essentially becoming a Nintendo-only box. In that case, the decision to go low meant trouble. Nintendo Switch is expected to release in March of 2017. So, this whole article has me super duper excited. The, the simple fact, okay, here are the facts. Capcom recently uh, came out with a statement stating that they are heavily working towards porting PS4 and Xbox One games to the Nintendo Switch. As I said in that video, if that is possible, Nintendo Switch's graphics cannot be that bad. It's not like it's going to be a PS3. It's not like it's going to be an Xbox 360. It obviously has more power than that. It has more power than the Wii U, obviously. So it's going to be able to push out better graphics, better experiences on the go and on big screens. The other great part about this article is the fact of the portability. I've heard rumors of three hours. I think that's a joke. For some reason, people are, they get selective amnesia when it comes to Nintendo. Nintendo is known for having some of the greatest battery life in portable gaming. I said this before, my GBA Micro still turns on and I swear to God it hasn't been charged in over a year. I mean, and that's old technology that Nintendo has. So obviously their technology has improved and iterated over these years. The 3DS has incredible battery life. Just look at it. It's so different. It's unlike anything else that you charge in your house. It stays charged forever. 
So if Nintendo is using similar technology with the Nintendo Switch, I'm sure they're going to be able to pump out some very competitive battery life for this console. I think the Switch is going to be incredible. I think it's going to be a great home console and an even better portable console. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up and show support for the channel. Join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and you can support The Beastly Gamer by visiting BeastlyGamer.com. I'm The Beastly Gamer. I'll see you guys next time. Take off.